This is video 4 in the last video of the Rhino Cam tutorials. Um, in this video, we are going to preview uh, and re edit some of the tool paths here that we've created as well as post them so they're ready for machining. Uh, in the last video, we created our spiral machining operation, and as we saw, it laid the tool paths out here on our object. We'll dive in uh, to the perspective view window here, zoom out a little bit. And if we click our last tab here, we'll notice that it applies um, stock to our material. And from there, we can play uh, the machining operation. As you'll see, uh, it starts cutting out rather slowly there by moving this slider bar here over to the left. Uh, we can speed it up, slow it down, so we'll uh, uh, play it again and you notice that the stock is now turning to red um, as you'll see here in one second red and other colors symbolize uh, uh, different tolerances um, of crashing actually into the stock um, if you click this button right here it shows that our units are currently set to an inch so it shows that uh, the crash uh, came into the model uh, less than 0.1 uh, of an inch. This was, I believe, the collet that crashed into the stock, and so we'd either need to uh, clearance off the top or use a different bit. So that's cool that it will show you in varying degrees. Maybe this is uh, okay if this was out of foam or something, it wouldn't matter, but for something, say, out of aluminum, uh, this would not work. So that's cool that it, it uh, shows you in pretty uh, good precision how much uh, of a problem you're going to have here. Uh, the button to the right of that uh, goes ahead and gives you a bunch of options here as far as the simulation. Um, voxel model is good. Uh, also works for 4 axis which I believe polygonal model will not. Um, and then if you wanted to have a transparent uh, tool and tool holder you could click on that uh, and so on and so forth. Um, it also brings back uh, the stock button. Uh, I'm not really sure why it would be beneficial to uh, reload a stock in this tab, but it does give you that option, um, as well as removing the path and then completely removing the model. So uh, just for time's sake, again, we're going to say that this is suffice, that we like this, and that we want to post this to a machine. We're going to go back into our machining operations tab. Uh, making sure our folder is not red, we are going to right click on it and we are going to go to post. Um, from here we can choose a variety of post processors. One thing to note is that Visual Mill, uh, their post processors are 100% compatible with Rhino Cam. So if you were to go on Visual Mill's uh, website and download them, uh, you simply name them with the extension that Rhino Cam uses for its posts, uh, and I'll drop them right here in your post processor um, folder. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, click the bridge port one here, and then we get to choose where we want to output this to. Uh, we want to output it to the desktop, so I'll click desktop, um, and then I'll type uh, test, and then we need to name the uh, extension here. If the bridge port used .nc, we type .nc. Um, if it use dot test, we type dot test uh, and click open. As you can see, it now puts that extension down here uh, as to where it's going to output it. We click OK. Uh, it takes a few seconds and then it generates that and puts it on your desktop for you. Uh, then you're ready to load that into your machine and uh, run your job. Thanks for watching.